Good afternoon guys. So we're off for a wee camp now. Uh, I was supposed to be out at the weekend with, uh, with John, but uh, my wee boy wasn't feeling that well. So I had to let him rest before he went on holiday. He goes on holiday tomorrow, you see, with his mum. So I'm out, it's absolutely roasting. Supposedly there's gonna be some thunderstorms later on. Pretty intense ones, possibly. It'll be dark as well, so should see them a lot. Uh, I don't know why my, my back's really heavy today. Just really heavy. Um, so what we're doing, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about the river camp, you know, the, the new beach camp that we've done. But I don't know about them storms, if that's gonna raise the water or not. So I don't know if I'd be better popping up into the woodland, we'll see. Uh, I'd message John about it, see what he thinks, cause he knows the river well. Uh, I think it'll be all right, because it's been so dry and everything, it's, uh, it's gonna take a bit of water to, to make that flood, surely. But we'll see. So I'll do, I'm gonna head up. Not gonna do much film while going up, because it's just, I just wanna get there, it's so hot. Proper, proper warm. So, uh, bring you back once we decide what we're doing. All right, guys, so, I'm a little over halfway there. I just, I've stopped in this wee bit of shade, you know, just underneath this willow tree here, cause uh, absolutely dripping in sweat. It's everywhere, man. It's hot today, especially with that bag on us. <laughs> but uh, I think, I think I've decided I'm gonna go up to the, the woodland camp. Cause I don't know if you can see how brown the river is. The river is already, it's not flurry, it's not thingy, but it's quite a bit higher than it has been. The last few weeks and you see how murky the water is so that's from rain probably yesterday when it rained most of the day yesterday and the night before it rained a lot the water's still really murky so i don't want to chance it because just where i where where i was thinking of going is just very low line and as i say there's pretty intense thunderstorms for most of britain um tonight so uh i'm not going to take any chances there i'm just Oh, bumble whip. So I'm just going to uh, just going to go up into the woods. My, th my reason being was I wanted to be low down because of lightning. Um, but I'd rather take my chances with the lightning up in the thingy than the the river down below. So we'll see. I might be there for the two days. I might be there just for tonight and go down to the riverbank camp tomorrow. The the beach camp. We'll see. But yeah, I'll bring these back as I get there. I'm going to set off now, get the river crossing and that done. Should still be all right. I know it's a wee bit higher here, but it's doesn't matter. I've got shorts and that on. So, um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll bring you guys back as and when I get there. Probably once I'm set up. To be fair, I don't know how much you want to watch me sitting mucking about with a hammock. But um, yeah, that seems to be the plan thus far. There we go guys, so up in the woodland, all set up. Fires as we left it. Um, we got a bit of wood there, so we'll gather some more, some bigger stuff. There's not plenty of wasp around chewing at this wood. There's one there, let's see if you can see it. Oh yeah, there he is. See him? But uh seem to pretty much leave it alone at the moment, so it's alright. Maybe next month there'll be a wee bit more thingy. So I've got my tarp and a diamond. I like the diamond because you can see out and stuff. And even with the uh, even with the supposed thunder and that that's coming, I mean you know, heavy downfours thingy. There'll be a bit of wind with it, it's not gonna be that windy. But um you know, you're kind of protected by the canopy and all the trees, so the rain will mostly be falling straight down. Like, this setup wouldn't be good at the beach camp if there was going to be that. You'd want it batting down a wee bit. Here, got my usuals. Got some eggs there, because I want to make some, uh, I don't know, like, breakfast hash thing with, like, eggs and sausage and potato and whatever else I put in it. 
can see a wee beer there, but I've got in the black bag there, I've got a wee, a wee treat for myself. I've got some nice beers, some craft beers. We won't be getting sozzled, but it's going to be good. So, yeah, I'll get some wood. I'm going to jump down there now. I need to go down to the camp me and Tiny made last week. Because the oven's down there, I forgot about that. And I need the oven to cook. What am I having tonight? I need the oven today or tomorrow. I might leave it until tomorrow. Because I might go down to the beach camp tomorrow, so we'll see. Yet to decide on that. Um and I want to try a couple of a couple of wee things today. Nothing special, just a couple of wee things. I want to make a nice Nice wee camp tonight. So yeah. So guys, I'm down here at the uh, at the beach camp. I was going to stay up the road, but <laughs> I had to come down and see it. But uh, yeah, it's really lovely down here. Bit wet, like the sand doesn't dry. It's still still wet from the other day. So considering the heat today, that's uh, no there's no wind. That's why. But um, I don't know if you can see the the willow behind us. I mean, that's that started thinging fast, like the leaves and stuff on it. It smells, it smells like um, it smells like silage down here with that going. But yeah, I'll pop down. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab the pot, and I don't really need a grill. Don't really need wood either. I'm going to grab this though. This is uh, <laughs> my shovel. Oops. I'm going to grab that. So yeah, I'm just going to take that and the that and the thing up. And you can see as well. I don't know if you can see it on the ground. There. You see that line going from them wood, them that wood on the ground over there. See it? That's been one of the moles that are down here, and it goes right over to. Well, there. <laughs> so he's been digging right along. There's a lot of moles up this way, actually. See them in camp sometimes. I saw one the other week. But yeah, I'm just grabbing the pot now because I don't know what I want to eat. So maybe I want stir fry, maybe I want ribs. Oh, then I just let that slip. But yeah, oh, it's lovely down here. I probably, to be honest, I probably could have got away with it because where I am now, looking where the river is, I don't know about the channel that cuts us off and turns it into an island, but where the river is right now, it would have to rise two or three metres to get me, something like that. I mean, it's even higher just over there, but there is the channel on the far side, so you could get cut off. We'll see it is, I still... I still might come. Uh, I still might come down here the more. I'm gonna stay up the woods now because I've got that sorted out. Oh, I tell you what though. Lying here in my hammock, there's a big gap in the sky there. If we got like thunder and lightning and stuff, you'd just be able to film it. It would look awesome because there's just a big. Well, can you see it behind me? Yeah. There's a big clearing there. That would look phenomenal. Right, I've chosen my place, I'll stick with it. It's meant to be drier the morning, I'll see what the river does, see what the how high it is. Um and I might yet come down here the morning.
There we go, guys. So, that's plenty of wood. Got more, got more over here. I've got bigger bits here to go. I've got bigger bits laying up there. Just thought I'd show you me snapping it, just in case you thought I employed someone to come out of the woods and snap it up for me. So, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, kids, now I'm going to, I've, I've got a couple of adult beverages with me, so just a little disclaimer, um, you don't drink till you're 18, and you drink within reason, you know, don't push it too far. So what I've done was, I've been looking for some craft beers, and we've got some down here in Carlisle, you know, get some out the, uh, supermarket and whatnot but then I found this little place so I was in today and I was talking to them and stuff and uh, I'm trying to get more people into it so any Carlisle viewers this house of malt it's on Warwick Road near Alessandro's if you want to get into some some nice craft beers or something like that uh, jump down and grab them um, I think everyone thinks they're really expensive. I mean, the beers there, I think they start at like 150 and they go up to. I mean, okay, this one was like. This one here was like six quid. But if you can see there, I think they can. It's 12%. So, you know, that's a strong one. Um, I'm going to try that later on. That's a bit of a bad boy. Looks really good. Milkshake IPA with orange and mandarin. So we've got that. And then we have, I've been looking for it for ages, ages, ages. We have some Northern Monk. That is what I saw in the window and that is what actually pulled me in. So we've got the Northern Monk, salted caramel porter. That's going to be nice. That's probably going to be pudding, eh? 5.2. Um... And then we've got, this is from a lot of you guys, probably know him. Um, one of my favourite YouTube channels, but Hayes Outdoors. So we've got there. That's Hayes's can, I missed his first one, but we've got this. This is a Patrons Project. And this is, what is this? This is like a pina colada. This is his pina colada, yeah. This one as well is a, this is a peeler. So, ooh, so satisfying that, so satisfying. So, notes from the brewer, <laughs> got a wee survival tip here, yeah, I think that's a, how to make a fishing hook out of a ring pool. Um, and then, yeah, we've got, I've got Hayes himself there. So, um, I'm going to open this one first because I'm really interested in this one and um, also if you don't yet as well give Hayes Outdoors, give his channel a, a little look because he's he, he, he's quite a funny lad so and he does his outdoors, he doesn't take himself too seriously so I always enjoy watching his videos so yeah we're going to we're going to try this one first Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you can definitely smell a uh, citrusy, citrusy note to it. Coconut, lime zest, milk, pineapple. I can smell the pineapple. I love pineapple, so I should like this. nice actually That's... so you get the pineapple and the mandarin first a little sour after note on it but uh, very very drinkable <laughs> maybe too drinkable I've only got a couple of cans open so I'm not getting absolutely steaming um, 
but yeah, I probably I probably won't be reviewing them all. I may bring you back. It depends how I feel. I'm just chilling out now while it's cooling down before it gets dark. I probably won't be cooking until it's dark, to be honest. Because when it's it, when it's as hot as this, I'm just not that hungry. So I think tonight I'll probably be having my beers and then cooking, which could become a disaster. We'll see. But I do some of my best work drunk, so yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I really wanted to try this Northern Monk stuff. I'll probably be keeping this can just as a, a wee collectible. And then I've got a wee project to do later on with some of the cans. And again, actually, it was his, I think. I think it was his, so I'll do it. So I'm going to make some wee lanterns, I think just to give the camp a nice ambiance because I wanted to I wanted to bring my uh, my my lantern but sometimes when you're trying to pack that in your bag by the time you put the lantern so it doesn't get broken you know bring fuel with it have everything stinking a paraffin or lantern oil it's sometimes I just I, I can't be bothered I think that'd be better if you had a, a full-time camp you know somewhere you could leave it where people aren't going to go um, or as I'm maybe going to get maybe maybe one or two of those UCO you know the, the candles the little candle holders they look good so yeah we'll try that but uh, I'm going to enjoy my beer now cheers heads so I do apologise for you getting a view of my crotch but I've already made one. I wanted to practice that a little bit. But it's out of my beer cans and you can see there's a wee tea light in there. So I want to see. Now I've drank another one. Well, there's one I had before. But I just want to show you guys. So it's pretty horrible when you're cutting it because it goes me, me, me. But Let's see what we can do on this one. They were by no means perfect or any of the sort, but totally worth it, but oh, look at me using my good bashcraft knife for cutting metal. That's because I'm a rebel. I mean, you know, this could be a useful thing, even in, <laughs> that was close, even uh, even in your house in a power outage, because the idea is that obviously the metallic inside is going to reflect more heat, uh, not more heat, more light, uh, so hopefully they'll give off a wee bit more brightness, and obviously it's cleaner. I'm cutting this one further down than I did that one. I only done that one to about there, so I don't know if the tea light's a wee bit low. I suppose it might be good for the wind, but we'll do we'll do one of each, and then we can oh, then we can compare. So we just do that and sort of cut it in an I, a capital Y shape, and then we just fold that out a bit. I don't really know how much, but I, I suppose about that. And there you go. So that's not neat, it's not a thing, you can probably do it neater. But, yeah, I've got some little tea lights with me and we'll just, oops, is it? We'll just pop that in there. It kind of falls about because the, the bottom of these are a little bit of a bobble. Uh, it's my handy dandy lighter. There we go, see? Kind of gives off a wee glow. So, I'm going to make these kind of, <laughs> as and when I drink the cans. I've got these, I'm not, I'm not going to destroy the hazy can, that's getting kept. But I've got two of them now, I've got another two cans there, we'll put them around, see if it, uh, see if it makes any difference out there. It looks like it gives off a good little bit of light, especially there on, on the camera. I quite like that. So, 
So guys, I've got here, I'm putting in here because uh, I didn't realise the, the pack I got these ribs in doesn't actually have a tray. So I had to put them in here because it will fit inside the oven. Just broke them up, put them in there, a little bit of water so it doesn't burn. And then... And the oven. Oh no, 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 no. I always keep a bit of tin foil in my brew kit, folded up. See? Just folded up a little tiny one, but. That fire is burning hot. Burning hot. Considering there's not much to it. So I'm going to have these ribs and some rice. I'll do the rice a lot later because that's not going to take long. Yeah, there we go. I to improvise a wee bit there, but... Hopefully it should work out all right. As well, just take you out of camp a wee bit. Gonna turn my light off. But yeah, it's not much light from the fire, but you can see my little lanterns. I give off a little bit of light. That one over there is by the bench. You can see it is shining up, but I don't think they give off a crazy amount. But it should look nice. So there we go, the Oops, a little bit of smoke, but the the ribs are sort of finished in the oven. I'm just reducing the sauce off a wee bit. So I'll put an extra wee bit of water in just in case. And uh, I've got my rice in there just finishing off. Not too long now, because I am hungry. It's about... Well, it's about half eleven or something at night now. So I am ready for some food. So we have it guys, that is ribs and uh, Jamaican rice. So, yeah, made that, I'm going to eat that and I'm probably going to be going to bed because it's quite late and I am absolutely starving. Well guys, I'm in my hammock now. <coughs> it's nearly one, well... It's after 12, nearly 1 in the morning. Got my fire going, I'm not going to keep it going on it, well. If any of these thunderstorms that, they're going to unload so much water. Uh, I'm just going to go to sleep. If I wake up, then fair enough. Well guys, it's about half 3 in the morning. Mm. Oh dear. Yeah, we've got a fair bit of thunder on that round us, you know. You better hear the rain. the 
distance there. Got a wee bit cold now. Yeah. It's a wee bit colder there in but Guys, oh, baby. Well, we had a bit of, bit of thunder and lightning that last night, and I've really managed to record it. And there was flashes and rumbles of thunder, and then every time I turned the camera on, ready to record, nothing for ages. So I turn it off, and then more. I just couldn't be bothered anymore. So it seems alright just now, it still seems quite chilly and it's not as hot as it said it was going to be, I don't think. But that'll be later on in the day. I thought it was meant to be like, like really hot again today. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to get up, make a coffee and watch not. Definitely need a coffee. So we're back at the nest, just checking on it. Still there. Maybe a wee bit bigger than before. I don't know. You can see wasp out on it. Not that many. Looks like it's got a wee bit of damage around the top. It's maybe from the wind and the rain and that, but they'll soon repair that. Just like checking on it. Nobody's messed with it. I'm not the biggest fan of wasps, but. Leave them be, man. So I'm going to back off now and just uh, let them be. Just came around for a wee check on it. Well, guys, I've just um, just popped down to the river for uh, for clean some pots, and I'm going to I'm going to grab some water as well. How's this? No wonder kids, uh, parents get angry. <laughs> kids stop there. They come down here swimming and then leave them on the banks. Forget about them. Yeah, I came down here. There's still a little bit of wind. To be fair, you don't notice it as much in the woods. Which is actually quite nice. It makes it a wee bit cooler. But it's still quite warm. But um, then you can see the skies over there and up here. Then clouds are kind of moving. Easty, east west, south east, north west. I don't know what's coming. I decided I'm just going to stay at the the woodland camp today. Um, I don't see a point, and there's still maybe more more thunder and stuff to come. So yeah, I'm going to stay up there. I'm going to clean this. I've got a little bit of wood and stuff, and you know, just starting to get ready for tonight. Um, and I'll bring you back later. So I've got a wee fire going, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some coffee and that on, I'm gonna um, do a wee bit of, that'll be breakfast and lunch really. Actually quite late in the day now. It's brightening up a tiny little bit, it was very very dull there for a while. It's very very, uh, it's very very damp and humid in the woods. So it was a bit of a challenge to get that going. Still, I used the same technique as I done I done last night with the fat wood, and uh, just went up there and picked off loads of tiny, tiny, tiny dead sticks off the. That's what the pine tree is really good for up there. So I've got some. Um, well, I'm going to get a coffee on. And I've got I've got some potato and onion and smoked sausage, which I'm going to cook in a kind of hash thing. I might add some beans to it as well, and some fried egg. I know that maybe that might be sounds disgusting, but it's going to be awesome because I am absolutely starving. 
I haven't eaten since we went out last night, basically. So that's kind of the plan thus far. There could be, it's still dull in that, there could be more thunder or more showers or, you know, any time, so. I don't want to leave this much longer, I'm going to get it, get it done. Get it eaten, maybe go out and pick some firewood for tonight. Stick it down under here. I've already grabbed some, some over there just needs processed. Um, and then, and then we'll see. Probably lots more coffees. It's actually quite nice getting a fire. It's it's weird, it's I don't know, it's humid but it can be kind of chilly. And it's just damp. Every every time you do something, collecting firewood, anything, you're just you're just sweating in seconds like. But we shall see. Got my water from the river earlier on, so I've still got like two litres of water to drink. Uh, I didn't really uh an opening and a, a thing of that beer, that last beer last night. Because I didn't have it before I went to bed, but I woke up and uh, I had it whilst watching the lightning last night. <laughs> I was just sitting in my hammock, drinking a beer, watching the lightning. <sighs> Which was quite nice. See, what I'm doing there uh, is, uh, I'm, not, I'm not cooking right now, but because I went and washed my pots down at the river, uh, all I'm doing is just... Stick them in the fire with the heat. I'm just basically sterilising them. Because water will sterilise things, but the the fire will just absolutely kill any bacteria, any viruses. <sighs> Nothing survives that. So I'm just going to leave them on there until they get hot, like really hot. I don't care. And uh, yeah, that's one way just to, you know, if you're using outside water. The river we've got there, it's not the best because obviously there's lots of farmland. So that's not the best. A lot of bacteria can go in that water. So, stuff I've got for coffee is pre filtered, but I boil it anyway because I'm just using it for coffee and stuff or cooking. So it's getting boiled anyway when I'm doing it. But um, yeah, that's a pretty good way just to sterilise your pans if you want after you've washed them out. If you want to. Away. What I'm going to do is just because I really regulate the heat, I will regulate the heat as much as I would want to. Put a little bit of water in there, clean them a wee bit, just a tiny bit. And they'll fry away nicely for a wee bit. eggs on the go and this is going to be for on top of my hash thing whatever it is usually I like my eggs sunny side up but it's a bit harder to control the heat there so I'll turn them on for coffee. I'm looking forward to this one. Like, I am starving. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon now, so I've not eaten since well, last night. So that's going to about do it. Oh 
So, oops, that's hot. There we have it. It's like a sausage and bean hash. It's got potato and stuff in it as well, and then a couple of fried eggs on top. Ugh. Just what every grown boy needs. So is that nearly night time now? I've not done that much filming today because it's been it brightened up just there, just before it's the sun's going down. But apart from that, it's been uh, just dull, really, really dull. Feels damp, and really muggy all day, man. So I've just been taking it easy. There. Every time you do something, you just start sweating, man. It's horrible. I've like been in the jungle, man. But um, finished processing wood for the night. Went down and got more water. I boiled it off. It's sitting under my hammock, just getting cold for later on tonight or tomorrow. So I got some drinking water. Got myself coffee on. So now it's just well, it's my favourite part of the day anyway. When it comes night time and darkness, you've got the fire going. That's, that's the best part of being out for me, just sitting, chilling, having the fire going. If you don't have a fire going camping, it ain't camping. I'm sorry, but it's not. Uh, a few people down there shouting. I also went on a wee search for fat wood. Um, I don't think the trees here, like the spruce, is the best. I don't know. Maybe pine's better. Yeah, I was trying the the low down branch cut close to the tree, like the sort of dead branches. Like I'm not, I'm not, you know, killing trees and stuff. But uh, no, no luck yet. So uh, it's not the right bit of wood for it. It's just because I battened a bit out looking for fat wood, and it's not. So I started, started the makings of a spoon. I know it's a wee bit squint in that, but it's not, it's not got the right bend in it, you know, for actually being a spoon. Just practice. Did find out though my knife needs a good old sharpening because it is, it's not sharp, anywhere near as sharp as it should be. So yeah, I'm gonna, I think you're chilling out. Just enjoy the night and um Probably bring back when I'm doing some cooking or something, I would imagine. There you go guys, I've got... I'm going to start getting some dinner on. It's a wee bit smoky because I've just banked it up. I've got my bed of coals there, sort of pulled forward. Oh, it's from a frying pan, it'd be nice if the wind was going the other way, but meh, what can you do? I have, wow, it's getting actually quite smoky. It's called Chinese Port. You can see it there. It's 
smoke's died down a little bit now because the, the wood behind it's caught a wee bit more. Time. Big enough but not too big. Took most things in it. Give that a good cook off. Partly as well, I've had this for two days, you know, not checking on anything, but I, uh, I think everything's a good cook on the second day, man. Don't really use that much chicken during the summer, to be honest, because it goes off too quick. But So I think it's one of the good ways to have a fire, separate it, either left, right, front, back. Separate it front, back because I was using the frying pan so I can rest it on that wee log and everything. You now a lot of times I'll separate it left, right, but build up your coals, get a nice bed of coals, let all that burn out. Pull the coals forward that you want to cook on, or to the side, whatever, and then stack the rest up. If you're cooking for a long time with an oven or that, you can use that to feed new coals in or just keep your fire going for heat, for brightness, for whatever while you're thinging, while you're cooking. So I'll be doing this, getting water on for coffee. And yeah, that's about it, really.
I mean, what do you guys own the clips when you're out? There's a few to get out and whatnot. Are you more, more like hiking and things like that? So, I mean, you know, obviously when you're hiking and stuff, you want to go lightweight and you're not, you're not going to drag around stuff like this, I get that, but. You know, what's your favourite stuff to do when you're outside? Or do you experiment, or do you try and switch it up, or just, just wondering, really? Just pondering. So if you, you thingy, you know, leave it in the comments. Um, also, if there's anything any of you guys would like to see me try, you know, just see if I can figure out, say, how it's done. Then, uh, yeah, I mean, leave that in the comments as well. And normally that would just be thingy, but... What we do, just an easy thing to do. You don't want stuff to burn. Just add a wee bit of water. It doesn't have to be a lot, a little bit at a time. If the water will cook out. That water will evaporate, but it just lets you cook a wee bit longer, especially in a high heat like this. Uh, and just not stick too much to the pan or burn. I love this shovel. <laughs> totally found it down on the beach. Now I took it up here. It's great for firework like that, I think, for the coals. Should I have one packet of noodles or should I be greedy enough for the, the whole lot? I think I'm going to have all of them. Because I can. Yeah, I did bring the straight to walk noodles with me because I like the udon noodles that they do and it saves on water, saves on boiling anything. Do that, whack them in the pan, throw them around, job done. That's why I love I can't do too much of my chefy like in the pan because it's, uh, it's a bit full now. It's all right. It's also, that, res that water residue in there will steam the noodles a little bit and stop them sticking as well.
I've brought like packs of, you know, already chopped up stuff, but to be honest, if I was doing this as well, I would, if I was making any sausage scratch, I'd make them and put them in a container. I would chop up most of the stuff when I'm coming out camping because it's just not practical carrying it all. Chopping up, it's easy, just it, even at home before, you know, if you don't buy one of those packets. Make your life a lot easier. I had a permanent camp, you know, that no other people can go to and things like that. I would, uh, you know, I'd probably make a, you know, a prep table and a, um, a chopping board and things like that. But these camps are really good, and not always people come to them. But as you've seen in previous videos, you you do get people. So you can't always do that. I'd say that is about done now. That is done. What I'm also going to do is... Uh, I'm actually just going to eat this. Eat this out there. The pan just saves on a thing. As you can see there, I've got one of my little candles I made last night. Can't quite see that there, it's not that bright, but yeah, I'll put my light on. So I'm going to sit and eat this by my candle light. Yeah, I'll enjoy that. So everyone, that's me in my hammock. <coughs> I've had dinner, chilled out a little bit, and uh, yeah, time for bed now. It was slightly earlier night than last night, trying to get up early in the morning. Maybe head back before it gets too uh, too hot tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, unless anything uh, amazing happens through the night, I, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning, everyone. Quite early in the morning now, sun is just coming up. You can see it in the background there through my through my hemi. So I'm being lazy this morning. I had a I set everything up last night. So I've got my little stove just below me. So I've just made myself a coffee. Oh but it's still roasting hot. So I'm gonna have a coffee in my my hammock and then I'll be getting up no breakfast today well no breakfast before going I'll just be getting up and, and squaring up on my way and heading back home I think it was a nice night last night no rain, no wind, no nothing. Really nice last night. Yeah. Yeah. So all packed up. Bench, da -da 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 -da. Everything from there. Bags all packed. Still looks like a big bag, but it's so much lighter now. And of course, fire is out, completely out. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit the road now. And um, yeah, on the way back, hang. On, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go back as sort of as fast as I can. I'm just gonna hang you before it gets ridiculously hot. It's meant to be today. So um I guess thank you for watching. Um 
if you like it hopefully you you share subscribe like um yeah and again thank you to any of my, my new subscribers thank you to my older subscribers um really appreciate really appreciate your support and your your views and and things and uh hope i can make keep making good videos for you so with that said i'm off and i will see you guys in the next one